UML stands for Unified Modeling Language. All right, it will help you. This is a this is an industry standard language which help you in visualizing the stuff that how each and every objects are interacting, what kind of message they are sharing with each other. Okay, so all those stuff are something which you would be able to see using an UML diagram. So we have several graphical notifications which we would be using in order to understand the complete concept about the unified modeling language. Okay, so can anybody tell me why we need this? It's this thing in the similar way that why we need a process diagram. It's easy to understand. Yeah, it's easy to understand. We will be more clear about how the system is working, how they are interacting with each other, right? Because it includes all activity. That's the reason the UML diagrams are important. Because it gives you the pictorial representatives, right? That how each and every component. When I say login, you log in, you enter username and password. You see the department. So once you saw the department, the next step was you were selecting the things on the cart and then you were doing the shopping payment and all those stuff, right? So UML is also a similar kind of a graphical notification with the help of which you can make the people understand that what exactly would be the output of your product. All right. So basically we have three types of UML diagrams. All right. One is structural behavior and interaction. Now what is structural is if you are trying to show something in the structural format. Structural in the sense, for instance, if everyone knows about what is database, right? So how each and every point or how each and every element would be stored so that it can be utilized somewhere else. So that is called as a structure. All right. Behavior is like how your system is behaving. Behaving at particular point of time. What all the activities or what all the points it will go with. That is something is called as behavioral diagram. Interaction is how each and every component like how login is communicating with the payment, how login is communicating with the card. Okay, so that is nothing but interaction. That means how each and every objects are interacting with each other. And these are some of the examples you can see. We would be discussing about few of them today in the class that how we create it.